Time to perform a little operation on my Nikola. I'm going to try and improve the startup sound. Not the start, the sound in general, but uh, the startup sound is beautiful. <laughs> it's very shrill. Now, and I'm not doing this mod just for that, for that but it, it, what I'm going to do is will help that sound and you, you'll hear it after I'm done. So I'm going to be replacing the speakers that come with the Nikola with these guys. Now th this is not my idea. This this is from Brian, and Brian, you know who you are, and thank you very much. He was the first one that did this with the Nikola. He bought these, uh, found these replacement speakers, and uh, I'll tell you why they're better in a little bit once I open up the Nikola. Okay, I've opened up the wheel. I didn't film that because it's been done a million times. Nicholas really easy to open actually. And since they have uh, proper machine screws, you can do it a thousand times now without damaging the shell. This is the sound module. The one thing I'm going to point out right right away is uh, you can see that uh, there's just holes holes in here that go right to the wheel. Nothing to protect. You can always see. I only have um, maybe 120 miles on my wheel, and look how dirty it is already. And that's just going right in the speaker. So if you if you're riding water through water, uh, these are, these are going to get destroyed because these are these are um, they're plant they're uh, paper they're just paper speakers. <laughs> so over time they're not going to last. Okay, so this is the original speaker and this is the new speaker. This feels like a uh, kind of a rubber, some plastic material versus the paper. So that alone by itself is going to hold up much better. Um, but also these speakers, these, these new ones have a different frequency response than these ones. They're, uh, they have a more uh, lower end and they're less sensitive on the higher end which will reduce the screechiness sound that comes from these speakers and give it a little more bassy, bassy feel. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put install some of this hydro, hydrophonic speaker cloth. Which basically means it's going to allow sound to go through the cloth but not water. So I'm going to install little circle of that between the speaker and those holes then uh, these speakers should really hold up. Up oh, by the way there will be links to this and worry about the speakers off in Amazon down below if you want to do what I'm doing. Okay I'll, I use a compass to cut it to uh, get a good fit with a piece of paper and now I'm just going to use this 
There's a template to cut this out. I have plenty of, uh, <laughs> I had to buy this giant sheet of this stuff for about 16 bucks. Well, I have plenty of material to uh, experiment with. Soldering operation here. Good to go. Okay, I've put some little pieces of double-sided tape. It should hold this cloth good enough. And then the speaker on top of it, of course. Okay, the speaker mod is done, and uh, before I close it up, I just want to mention a couple interesting items here for any of you modders out there. So I'm going to, next, uh, on a separate video, I'm going to be installing a new fan on my Nikola, because my current fan does not work. But I need 5 volts, so I thought I would take it from the speaker module. So it's interesting. On my Nikola, so there's uh, you got this, these set of wires, these set of wires, and, and this one. This used to go to the old speaker. I think it's a ground, but uh, no longer used. So these are 5 volts. So I'm going to tap off this. So that's what feeds the, the board. But what's interesting is that this bit heavier gauge wire, also going into the board, gets tapped right off the, the batteries. So they have, uh, I don't know what they're doing. And you guys have interesting idea. So basically there's uh, the battery voltage is going into the audio board, which of course is you know, 84 volts down to 73, 72, 73 volts, something like that. And I have no idea why that would be the case. You guys have have any theories? Uh, put them in the comments. Other than that, I'm just gonna seal this guy up and I'll show you what it sounds like in a moment. Okay, ready to start a new sound. It's a little bit more mellow. <whistles> Last pitch is not so ear wrenching. <laughs> so of course I didn't do this just for that. Uh, generally the, the sound just kind of, it's it sounds a bit nicer. It's not dramatic, but a little more bassy. Uh, whether it's worthwhile. They're about fifteen bucks for the speakers and I pay about 15 bucks for that waterproofing uh, material. 
And by the way, that uh, that 84 volts going into the board, I'm pretty sure I know what that is after thinking about it for a little bit. That's they're just driving. That's the higher voltage that they're using to drive the, the audio system. And the 5 volts is driving the Bluetooth and other uh, digital circuitry. All right, hope you found this uh, useful. And I'll talk to you guys later.